If you're anything like me, you love to be hitting the road about 365 days of the year, but sadly, that's not the case for most of us. And when it comes to some of the accessories that we use, if we just sort of pack them away for three months or even six months at a time and then pull them out, you could be doing a little bit of damage and really not getting the best life out of your device. So we've got a Yamaha generator here and I'm going to show you how that you can actually prepare your generator for long-term storage and then when you pull it out again exactly what you need to do. When left unused fuel does go off so it's really important that you actually drain your fuel so that when you start it up again it doesn't do any damage to your generator. However, if you're only storing your generator for a couple of months, then there's no need to drain the entire fuel tank. All you want to do is drain the carburetor. Now that's really easy to do with these yammies. They've got a great little fuel tap here. You simply switch that to off, kick the Jenny over, and it'll naturally drain the carby all by itself. And it's one of the really great features that I love about these yammies. If you are planning on storing your generator for longer than a couple of months, then you need to drain the fuel tank completely. And like we explained before, run your carburetor dry simply using the handy fuel tap. Now, what do you do to prepare your generator for use again after it's been in storage for a long period of time? Well, the first thing I do is to pop some fresh oil in. And the reason we do that is because oil does actually age over time, even if your generator's been in storage. Here's how we change the oil. To replace the engine oil in your Yamaha generator, simply turn the fuel cock knob and fuel tank cap air vent knobs to off. Next, remove the oil filler cap, which is located towards the bottom of the generator. Place an oil pan under the engine and tilt the generator to drain the oil completely. Replace the generator on a level surface and then add new engine oil to the upper level. Wipe up any spilled oil and then put the oil filler cap back on and it's as easy as that. Prior to use after storage, you will need to refill the fuel tank. Make sure you check that you have enough fuel. This can be easily read on your fuel gauge, which is built into most Yamaha models. On the EF2000IS model, it's located at the top of the generator near the fuel tank cap. You should also look for any fuel leakage before operation. Well, those are my tips for preparing your generator for before and after storage. But remember, you should always consult your owner's manual. If you want some more information, remember to go to generatoryamaha.com.au.